Shout out. Now, another thing, man. I know y'all had a relationship with Tupac, man. Pop. Tell me about that, man, because y'all was supposed to get busy on some world-changing, world-moving stuff, man. Man, you know what? So the first time I could honestly say I saw him in person, because he was locked up when we first came out. Mm -hmm. First time I saw him in person was at uh, at the Soul Train Music Awards. Mm -hmm. Soul Train Music Awards. And the pictures be on, the same pictures be on the internet right now. It'd be really, man, scary to see sometimes because it and just bring back that memory, man. He, yeah. When he was walking with Suge Knight, and he, I can remember him coming through the crowd, and he popped up on us. Mm. Goody mob! Goody mob! <laughs> and we was like, dang! Pop, you know what I'm saying? Tupac, he was like, yo, look, he had a handful of flyers. He had just went five million, just sold five million records on that, on that, me, on that uh, All Eyes on Me album. Yeah. He was saying, look, look, man, I want y'all to come to my party tonight. You know, I want y'all to be special. Get look, man, take some of these, these VIP passes that get y'all in. Y'all come on through, man. Kick it with us tonight. We're going to have a good time tonight. Yeah. I'm like, Pop, I am there. <laughs> guarantee that one, bro. I'm coming. Yeah. So we got back to the hotel. I still remember that we got back to the hotel after doing what we had to do and everything. And everybody was like, man, I'm tired, man. I'm just going to probably chill out more, man. You, you finna get out in the streets for real like that. I said, boy, I'm going to that thing, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I had to take cab over there, man. I'm going. So I called my road manager, man. My road manager's like, yo, T, you want to go? I'm like, yeah, I want to go. He said, let's go. Yeah. Me, Ron Bird. Yeah. And this dude named Happy Hour Hank, man. <laughs> Happy Hour Hank. Yes, sir. We got in that doggone Jeep, man. We didn't have a top on. It was freezing in L.A., man. We were riding, man. I just remember being so yeah. close. Hey, like, oh, no. <laughs> Go, man. We pull up, man, to the Century Center, man. That's where the big party was at, man. Pull up to the Century Center. And, man, uh, we kept, we, it was really strange, man, because we were pulling into the party. Everybody was coming back this way. Uh. So we was like, dang, is it over? I'm like, look at the time. Like, it ain't, it ain't nothing but like 10 something, 11 yeah. something. Like, I know it ain't over now. Mm -hmm. So I, we stopped, rolled down the window. Hey, baby girl, what's happening? She's like, hey, how you? Like, why why everybody going this way? Well, they just got the fighting in there. Oh, man, we <laughs> missed the dog party. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they got the fight. So we roll up on them, cat. We roll up to the front. Like, because Ron, he wasn't going for that. He was like, you want to meet Pac? I'm like, yeah, I do, man. Yeah, yeah. I want to see him, man. Yeah. He said, let's go. So we ride, no, we ride to the front, ride to the front where all the, all the people were standing. We finally get up to the front. We just start seeing, we see Suge pull out in his white Rolls Royce. Mm. He pulled out. Pop was behind him in the black Rolls Royce, mm. both convertible. It was probably, I ain't exaggerating, man. It was probably 20 cars mm. behind him. So I'm like, you know, that's that gang stuff going on, <laughs> yeah. you know. Let me just, you know, sit back for a minute because it ain't over three of us, man. You know, yeah. so I'm like, I ain't finna even try to get into nothing. Yeah. Ain't got no gun. I ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got my posse. Let's yeah. take it home. You exactly. know, right? so we go, we go, we gonna stay put right now. Let's just chill. Bomb Bird was like, look, we're gonna go holler Shook. I don't care, man. Look, I know Shook. So I'm like, you finna ride up to the front of that caravan right now, <laughs> they, might, they might blast on us. Yeah. Yeah, but they might not know what our intentions are. Exactly. They don't know who we are. Yeah. Man, this man pull up beside Suge Knight. Hey, Suge! Look! Yo, man. Check it out, man. I got T-Mo from Goody Mob over here in the car with me. I'm looking at him like, man, you just called me out of front of all these folks. I <laughs> <laughs> Why you, they might have a problem. You know, somebody I might have a problem with. Like, I ain't, I mean, I just thinking like, man, he just called me all the way out right now, homie. Man, Suge was like, man, I love y'all's music, man. Great music, man. Hey, man, much success to y'all brothers, man. Yeah. Love it, man. Why don't y'all follow us over, man? We about to go to this club called The Sanctuary. We was like, man, we going to do that. Yeah. We got, man, they will not let us break in line. <laughs> they was on it, man. So yeah. we got, we ended up following behind the man. When I tell you, these boys running through there like they, they had Obama in the car with them. Man, they running every red light you could see, man. Police sitting there, they ain't made nobody stop for nothing, boy. Cause I guess it was so many of them. Yeah. Police stopped the, the 29th car. Yeah. She got 28 <laughs> folks. <laughs> yep. 28 yep. more folks running yep. lights, you know what yep. I mean? So yep. we just running, man. We got them, man. And it was just, you know, I, I just kicking it with Pop, man. Just standing there talking, chilling with him, man. It was just amazing, man, to be received by a great like that, man. And 
for him to want to do music with us. I was in the studio with him the very next day. Idi Amin got a spot on YouTube talking about it too, man. Yeah. I was in there with them boy that very next day, man. That boy played that um, hit him up song. Boy, it scared me to death, man. <laughs> and I ain't no scary cat at all, man. But, man, when that man played that song, I was like, is he playing it because he finna say something about us? Mm. Or is he playing it? You know, <laughs> just to let us check it out, man. Yeah. You know, I, I was like, you know, you still got to, you know, kind of feel the situation yeah, now. We know? don't know these niggas. I don't know these <laughs> guys like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let me get comfortable first, yeah. man. Let me just put his play. Boom. Hit him up. You know, I'm like, oh, man. He talking about hitting buddy. Why? Talking about all this stuff. I'm like, oh, my goodness, man. We sitting there looking at each other like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> we boy, these boy me business boy. Like I, I just knew one nothing good. Mm. Couldn't nothing good come from That's that on. much going on yeah. at that particular time in the industry, man. And like I say, God just really kept us so close to all the action, man. Yeah. Even when Biggie got killed, man, that night, man, the party at the Ford Factory, we were there. You know what I mean? We were there. We left that party, went over to a party. At the Roxbury, Outkast had a party at this club out in L.A. called the Roxbury. Yeah. Went over there. That's the first time I met Martin Lawrence and yeah. Queen Latifah, all the people over there. You know, that were the Hollywood people. They was over there, too. Yeah. Because uh, at the Ford Fed, I met Wesley Snipes for the first time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was, that was just a fun experience, man. But, man, you know, it was just, it was just strange, man. I just say that, man. It was just strange, you know, that that man passed like that, man, because I remember... I can remember Queen Latifah coming in there saying, you know, she just shut everybody down. Yo, 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 yo. Man, Big just got shot, man. And he said he did. So that's when everybody, I could remember, man, everybody was just tired of all that beefing and bickering. Yeah. So that's another reason why we don't incorporate that into our music, man, because yeah. that's what's going to come. Yeah. Is that what y'all young niggas want? Mm -hmm. Y'all want that? Y'all y'all ready to die? Really? You really ready to die? You ready to leave mama and brother and sister and your girlfriend and your partners? Nah, you ain't. Your mouth say y'all, but I don't believe that's where you want to go. Yeah. You know, right now, you want to live a long life. Yeah. You want to have a family. One day, you want to earn some money and, and, and ball out like you want to do. Mm -hmm. Buy your car, too, and a uh, crib or two, and travel a little bit and see the world and mm -hmm. enjoy yourself, man. Ask Floyd, man. That's what he, how he living right now. Exactly. You want to live a little bit like that. <laughs> we might not have 180 million, but <laughs> yeah. a couple hundred thousand, yeah. man. You can make yourself thank you there. You know what I mean? But Exactly. You know, I I just want to see everybody win right now. I love seeing Atlanta standing up right now, man. These guys, man, you know, they're doing their thing right now. Radio Shouty. Shouty.